Let's have it live now to Josh Scheinblum, who is out with some very brave souls who are camping tonight in Hammonasset State Park. And Josh, in this kind of weather, you've got to have skills and probably some great equipment, right? Well, Kyla, I think the numbers you were showing there said it all. It is definitely a chilly night here on the shore. And despite those cold temperatures, we found people here at Hammond Acid State Park enjoying the great outdoors. Now, we were here when it was a little sunnier, so I want to show you what was happening. Yeah, pretty much the typical sites that you'd expect for a holiday weekend. We found people grilling and just having a good time outside. Now, that's a little different, though, than you might expect because things are about to get a whole lot colder. You heard Kyla there. Things are going to be getting into the 40s. And many of the people that we spoke to said they were prepared for the colder temperatures. We have our sleeping bags, the zero below. They'll take us down as far as zero below, so we hope it doesn't get down that cold. But um, so we should be fine. And a lot of comforters, a lot of pillows, and we're good. A lot of people saying they're good. The park is packed tonight, and we were able to talk to some experienced campers who gave us some advice on things that people can do when camping on a chilly night. Now, obviously, many of them recommend uh, heading out in a camper, which has a heater and many of the comforts of home. But if you're going to be staying in a tent, they say the first thing you should do is make sure you try to stay off of the ground, bring an air mattress. That's a simple way that you can stay warm. Also use a sleeping bag that is ready for those cold temperatures. And if you can, spend as much time close to the fire as possible. For now, we're live in Madison. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.